Hey everyone, this is Sean from Taser Images, and today I will be doing a tutorial, as you probably would have guessed by reading the title on this um, tutorial, uh, that I will not have anything to do with After Effects this time. So if you're looking for something After Effects related, check out my other tutorials on YouTube. Uh, just follow the links, uh, click on my username, and you'll find a bunch of cool tutorials if you were looking for After Effects. But today, I will be doing a tutorial on web design, web design 101. As you can see right now on the screen is my current design. Well, I'm up. I'm making a new design for the website. It. So, what if you wanted to design a website? What you do is first, you might want to start out with mm, a designing program. Um, if you have um, Windows, then your computer might come with uh, like front page I think front page yeah but what if you don't have that and I don't I know my computer didn't come with it because it's really dumb and I'm running Windows right now I'm hoping to transfer it to leopard though because that looks cool um so if you don't have a program you can download one there's a bunch of cool free ones here's one that I like but I'm not using right now it's called serif I think that's how free serif software I'll put the link up as well um it, you can download version 6 of it for free but if you want to upgrade or something then you'll have to pay like 10 bucks or something so version 6 works and it comes with templates like all programs should um so once you have that downloaded now what do you do you uh, install it, open it up, and right now I'm running on Web Designer, Web Page Maker version two. So hold on, let me open that up, and you'll start out with a, a blank page. So you're like you're saying, what do I do? It's a blank page. There's nothing I can do. Not true. You can open up a template. Usually it's file. Uh, new site from template or some various form of that and you'll get uh, you know uh, in here I have two categories of templates business and personal uh, let's let's go with a personal uh, mm, just take one it you click OK it loads up um, most all the good ones like I know Serif does has a preview button some of them will be inside the program, others it'll, like mine, open up a whole new window and show you that the stuff works. So, uh, you have this, and you can change everything, I think. You know, custom text box will come up. Hold on, let me get this into view. You know, change your text box to, well, you can customize it. something like that you know just just as an example but if that is not enough for you then you can add some uh, graphics like I do and if you don't uh, have you know your web design graphics you can always look for them on the internet you can oh right scripts you can go on a website like uh, Google Google uh, Google web <clears throat> HTML scripts. If you don't know how to write yours already, and if you're not experienced or something, you can always get one. Um, I know there's a few ones that give you cool stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure BraveNet does, but they they really go way far with the advertising and stuff. So, you know, it's good, but mm, you know, you can do better. Anyways, you can look for your own script. Uh, once you find it, you just let me get one. Let's see, this one's called Dyna Dynamic Drive. Um, you get categories. <clears throat> um, let's just go with time and date. Um, live clock. So you you choose a script and you'll see that it comes with the code right here 
you just oops copy the code control a then control c to copy it go on to your web design thing you can either go into the source or uh, like mine has go into insert HTML code or script copy paste paste it in click OK OK and you'll get this usually it's much more defined than well, first you need to find yourself a server if you just buy a domain don't be confused if you just buy a domain it won't give you a server you can't put your website onto it it just reroutes like say you had a domain www.mywebsite.com uh, when someone types that in it'll just redirect them to something else so you, c you can't just get a domain and think it'll have a server on it even though you sometimes have to pay for the domain which is around like 10 bucks a year um, it's not too bad or you can get a free one but the free ones have like uh, example www.mywebsite.freewebs.com so it's a bit longer um, but there are ways around that like I'm using I'm using a .co.nr and I'll show you how to do that first you need to get a server I'm using .101mb once you get a server you can copy the like uh, it'll give you a link to your website so if you got a 101.10mb it might be mywebsite.110mb.com still it's okay it's long though so once you get that you click uh, all of them will have a either like an export button under file or publish like mine does so you click on publish uh, you do a new site name whatever you want type in whatever um, the the server gave you so www dot well h t don't forget the http uh little comma thing two backslashes www dot my website dot one oh one mb dot com once you do that you click OK but for reasons obvious I'm not going to because I didn't make one and I'll I'll you know sometimes they are so what you do you need a domain you can either buy one or get a free one like I'm using but the free ones are not as widely known but I use .co.nr they may they may be like <clears throat> a catch to it like some of them will make you put ads on your website and I don't like those because they really slow it down but you know it helps pay for them so at least you don't have to pay for it or there's ones like co.nr that require you to put a little like uh, I don't know what it's called like a little logo on it that tells you where they got it where you got it from so other people can use your service um, so you just re get, go find one just search for a free domain on Google or something and uh, find one uh, set it up go through the instructions usually they're very clear register and uh, link it to your server and then when people go on like I'll just use mine taser.co dot co dot nr sorry there um, it'll automatically reroute you to your server which will give you the website hopefully uh, everything well my computer's a bit slow I'm running a few programs right now and uh, other computers turned on too, so internet's a bit slow. But usually this loads faster. And you know, you have your website now. And be creative. Don't don't just you know do nothing with it. Try to have fun. Um, use your uh, use your program in good ways. Explore the program because they'll usually have uh, built-in scripts to them. You can insert. Mine says ready to use JavaScripts, and you know you can insert a clock, dancing stars, elastic trail, you know snow effects. They're really cool. So play around with it, make a website, and don't be afraid to send me the link. I'll check it out and um, tell tell everyone on YouTube about the cool ones. All right, thanks for listening. My name is Sean from Taser Images, and you're listening to Taser Images. See you later. Have a happy new year.